All right. So, um, Nadira Dev here, week 37, post-op VSG. Started my journey last July at 230 as my highest weight recorded. I have a feeling I was higher, but I'm, that's the recorded weight I'm going with. Um, had my surgery on um, August 6, 2012. Um, last week I was 160.0, which was up a pound from the week before. Friday I had stepped on the scale and I was 161.6, I think, and basically had a freak out moment. Um, and I'm in a much better place today because I stepped on the scale this morning and thank you Lord I saw 158.4 and I was like okay that's a new low I haven't seen 158.8 I have not seen 158.4 stepped on the scale three times to make sure it wasn't just screwing up and I really needed that because I was losing my mind and all weekend I really was sort of losing my mind and I want to thank everyone that responded to my video on Friday because it really helps to know there's just people out there you know it doesn't even always matter what you say you know I I love it when people make me think I love it when people give you a perspective that you really hadn't thought of and you're going well duh why didn't I think of it that way but I just love that you throw something out there and say, you know, I'm just feeling awful today. I'm worn out. I'm drained. And I know you guys get it. And you all come back and let me know you're there. And I didn't even want to make the video. I was like, I don't want to do this. But I, do, I want everybody to see where you go in this journey. And it's not a straight line. It's not always easy. It's 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 hard it's hard mentally it's really hard mentally and I think it's been harder mentally the last couple of months than it was the first six months because everything was so different the first six months that I was disoriented and I had other little funny things going on where I was like okay I don't even know who this person is that I see in the mirror I don't you know I don't know my body felt so different and now that I've leveled out a little more and my weight loss has slowed down and people are noticing a whole lot more and just kind of puts everything out there I'm you know I, that's messing with my head and then Friday having seen like a three pound gain from the week before really made me feel um, all of those doubts that are right under the surface came flushing to the surface the whole I'm never gonna get to my goal weight uh, I'm gonna gain all my weight back no matter what I do, I just got, I'm doing it. I didn't do anything any different. So why is it different? That feeling came back. And that was the feeling I'd had so many times before because I've never been a yo-yoer. Um, I've always been one that just couldn't get the weight to go down. So it kept going up and I might get it to go down a little bit to a point and then it would never go any further or it would come right back up again. And, but it never was very much to begin with. So I felt all those familiar doubts and that just sinking feeling that you have had a lot going on and I think this journey can be really draining sometimes and I think there was a couple of people that used the analogy I think it was Pinkfish Lily and VSG Tanya that both had this thing like like relating to their lives like like a CNN you know s screen where the main stories are the big pictures that you see going on <clears throat> and the talking in the background but then there's always this little ticker tape running along the bottom and that ticker tape running along the bottom is my busy brain who's worrying about how many calories have I had where how much protein how much water and where are my carbs at did I exercise today blah, blah, all the things that I have to think about and and then all I got a few more screens popping up because meat season started this weekend for my girls and that brings up a whole nother layer of anxiety because I have a social anxiety um, people who know me and see me on a daily basis would never guess I have a social anxiety because I can pretty much talk to anybody about anything and I can put on the good face I think I learned that growing up military and Catholic you just you gotta look the part so I can put the face on but what's going on underneath often is very anxious and especially this year I think it was a little more anxiety producing because I knew 
a lot of these people hadn't seen me for months and they would notice and I would sort of, people are starting to call me on it more now and really ask me, so what did you do? Okay, you didn't just lose a few pounds and get a few pounds off. You're making some serious changes here. What did you do? And at this point, I'm telling them, you know, I made a lot of changes in my diet and I changed everything, but basically what was the big key was the weight loss surgery. And I've not had a negative reaction yet. Um, I've had people kind of give me funny looks, but I don't know how to interpret them. But for the most part, they're all like, wow, one gal, yes, it was really kind of nice on Saturday because she was like, oh, I had a friend next door or a friend next door who, who did that. And she looks so good and she feels so good. She says, do you just feel awesome right now? You know, you look awesome. You know, so it was really, it was a positive interaction with somebody that really, I never reacted and interacted with much because there's a lot of girls on this team and we all see the moms all see each other at all the meets. And in fact, this is one of the other high school moms for a different high school team. This gym that we're at feeds to two high school programs and um, depending on where you live. And she's in the other high school program, but we bump into each other during the high school season because our girls get invited, our two teams get invited to the same meets. And I've known her from before that because we'd be at the care meets together. Are these, they're, you know, it's the Colorado Area Recreational Association, I think. And it's the league that, the league meets that we're having now. And then there's the high school season is in the fall. It's a whole different story. But it's just the same circle of women I've known forever. And I kind of knew people would notice and say things that made me nervous. So there was like a whole other level of anxiety on top of just the normal stuff. You know, because then I'm anxious for my daughter because she has all these things she wants to do. This is her last Kara season. My older daughter is her last Kara season. And then this fall will be her last high school season. And she's been doing gymnastics for 10 years. So she's got lots of goals this year and big goals. I mean, all of a sudden she's like on fire trying to get all these things because the pressure's on for her being one of the top girls now. They need her score. Um, and this meet was an, a team meet. Most of the care meets are just individual. It's your score. You're not as a team. I mean, we're there as a team, but it's more about how you do and what your score is compared to the score you had last time. Everybody competes on everything and everybody gets a score and they have awards at the end and stuff like that for the all, all the four apparatuses and all of the all around. This is just the team. She picks the top six on each level. And it's sort of bragging rights. It doesn't even really count towards the season. It just sort of kicks off the season and it's bragging rights. But big deal for Haley. She, you know, she gets picked to compete on everything, which out of a huge group of girls, you know, that's quite a, an honor just to know that the coach thinks you are one of the top six on all of your events. And, but then that puts the pressure on. Okay, she thinks I can do this. She's got me up on the top. I need to pull it off. And she did on two things, but not on two others. So you're like, all right, you know, her two week events were awesome. Best scores, you know, way up there for her highest scores. The other two kind of fell apart, but that's all right. You know, we made progress, but that tension is there too. You know, I know it's about her, but with my kids and especially in the gymnastics, even with kids that I've just watched do gymnastics, all her friends and things, I'm like on the floor with them. I feel it with them. I w you want them to have that validation that all their hard work paid off. It's kind of the same thing we need for weight loss surgery. We just want a crumb. Just give us a crumb that lets us know we all of the work that we've done is not in vain. So that's where I'm at this week. A lot of stuff going on, but I'm back in a better place now. Thanks to you guys and all my new subscribers and, um, you know, keep the comments coming because they really do a lot for me to keep me thinking and keep me on track and not let me fall back, my brain fall back. It's not even so much my eating habits falling back. It's my brain falling back into bad habits. So that's it for this week. And I'll talk to you guys later.